This is my, you know, I, I'll bet you somebody has tied this fly before. I just don't know. So I call it the J. Nicholas Baby Boss. Um, a little shorter shank hook. Shorter shank hook. This is definitely a low, clear water fly. Guess what? Those fish can see, king salmon can see really, really well. And I've seen big kings eat this little baby fly right near dark when they rejected bigger things. So I'm going to use a black ice dub, that black bucktail. This is a size 2 Gamagatsu glow bug hook. Very nice hook. Ring eye. Slightly offset. Um, ice dub is great stuff. If it gets, starts getting wild on you, just give it a twist. And snap right, right back in shape. American Saddle Club. If you can get them. Chris, have you got them? Got them. This is one we do have. The hot orange. Hot orange. Use the webby part. Save the slim part of that feather when you're tying your dry stone flies. Wind a brown hackle with an orange. Ever think about doing that? It comes out really nice for stone flies. I like to tie my hackles in by the tip and fold them. Not everybody does. This is going to be an unweighted fly. A lot of times this is for fishing in water that's five, six feet deep. All it needs to do is get somewhere between an inch deep and a couple of feet deep and those kings will come right up and take it. If you want to sink it down, put some little baby, baby eyes on it. There you go.